Hello fellow computer enthusiasts, my name is Christian, hope you're doing well today. Welcome to the first episode of Self-Hosted Software of the Week, the show on YouTube where I show you a cool piece of software and how to self-host it in your home lab. Let's follow me to GitHub. The software covered this week is called Headless Steam Service and is in general a Docker container provided by a guy called Josh5 that supports NVIDIA and AMD GPUs and allows you to remote play your Steam library in a browser or on every Steam device via remote play. Just in case you are the one guy on the planet who doesn't know Steam, let me give you a short introduction. Steam is a video game distribution service and storefront created by Valve. The software was launched 20 years ago when I was a young man and playing a lot of Half-Life and Counter-Strike. And I remember when the update client of Counter-Strike became what's called Steam today. Oh, nostalgic. Like and subscribe to see me building my early 2000s dream gaming PC in a future video. But let's get back to the topic and see what the Steam Headless container can do for us. If you are an Android user like me, you can install the application via the Unwrite Community plugin. Just make sure to add a proper NVIDIA AMD driver to your system, which can also be done through the plugin. In today's video, I won't choose the Unwrite path, and I do it in a virtual machine with an AMD GPU pass-through to the system, to show you the Docker Compose installation method, because that applies to all systems and not only to Unwrite. As mentioned in the documentation, which is, to be honest, not really huge, we have just to prepare the directories and we are good to go. I assume that you already have the GPU drivers installed to your system, if not, you can just follow the links under the video instruction to do so. After that, we create a Docker Compose file and adjust the Steam Headless configuration file to our needs and we launch the application with Docker Compose up and open the VNC session in our browser. And that's it, we are good to go. You will then see that Steam get installed. Now you have a full featured desktop with Steam installed, where you can log in and start installing games, which then can be played in a browser from every device, or you can use the server as a remote host as I plan to do it, because I think that VNC is not the fastest to play a game, but we will test this in a few minutes. <laughs> Okay, as we see here that um, a VNC connection is not fast enough to play a, a FPS shooter or a strategy game. Maybe you can play some board games or anything like that or a card game. Um, but that is not the use case for me. So I will um, turn my server into a remote play host, which is really great. And um, there are also better alternatives to stream a desktop to your um, browser, which we will cover in the next video. So make sure to like and subscribe. As you can see here, Remote Play works like a charm and is a good way to play games on a device that is less powerful, like my Surface Book that I often use while sitting on the couch next to my wife and watching TV or Netflix. It is also possible to stream games to the Steam Deck. Unfortunately, the GPU that I dedicated to the virtual machine is, is not really beefy, so I will stick to the Steam Deck GPU for now. Thanks for watching this episode of ILTP WC. Hope you enjoyed and got an inspiration for your home lab. Let me know in the video comment section if you like the format, where I show you software that you can self-host yourself on your server, and if the level of detail is fine for you, or if you need more information on how to install, configure and use the application. As always, if you want to see more awesome stuff for your home lab, please consider to like and subscribe, and don't forget to play with computers.